Good morning. We are live outside the CCO studios. Yes, we are on the plaza this morning. And hold on, before we even get to the person we're going to be interviewing, take a look at this wonderful piece of art. Incredible. This was done in an hour and a half time? <laughs> My goodness. Wow. So let's introduce you to the artist who did this amazing piece of artwork. Let us know your name and what's going on. Well, my name is Sean McCann, and uh, this is a preview for a chalk festival that we have coming up this weekend in Monticello. In Monticello, okay, so we can see more art just like this down in Monticello. Absolutely. The uh, festival is called Let's Chalk, and we've got some of the world's top street artists. We've got one of the top 3D street artists. I'm going to be doing a 3D street painting, and uh, so this is just kind of a little preview of what you're going to get to see. They'll have, we'll have two full days to yeah. chalk, so there'll be much more detail than what you see here that was done in just an hour's time, but still a lot of fun. It is. Is, and I think it just art brings people together and just the conversation that can come out of just walking by and seeing <laughs> something like this out here. It's it's just it, it's great. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. It's one of those things that you don't often get to see artists work and see their work progress. Yes. And so with chalk art on the weekend, you get to see how they start. You get to see how they they develop it. And then you get to see the finished piece. And it's supposed to be much warmer, too, which is going to be <laughs> wonderful. So that definitely that definitely helps. How did you first come to discover? I've got a talent for this. Well, I've always been an artist. I went to art school and uh, never knew about street art until I accidentally uh, started creating one, a piece on, one day about 18 years ago. Yeah. And now it's my full-time job. So I used to illustrate books and do paintings. And now I do street art and murals and all sorts of crazy things. Where did the fruition for this event even come from? Chalk, let's chalk it up. Well, it's one of those things. I run other street art festivals, and so um, they had seen um, Chalk Fest in Arbor Lakes and downtown Minneapolis and a number of other chalk festivals and really wanted to bring that excitement to Monticello. And so it's something that we're, we're happy to do that, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a new community, and so it's something new that they haven't been able to see before. Some of them have probably been to Maple Grove, but, but this will be an opportunity for the community to really come out, be a part of it, and you, the, some of them can even join in. We've got a chalk mandala, so it's going to be great that, that they can... And, and I'm just, part of it. And I'm thinking about just the little kids coming by and just, you know, getting to see this in action. That's got to be pretty special to share something you love so much with the next generation. Oh, absolutely. And this is actually my niece, Lily, who oh. she's six years old and oh. she's actually becoming an artist herself. And so her and my nephew, Zach, will um, will have a chalk piece right next to mine. They've been following me to a few of the festivals and they get a little square as well. And so oh. it's just been so wonderful to see how they've taken a liking to it and hopefully inspire that next, like you said, the next generation. Okay, so real quick, Sean, give us the rundown. The event happening this weekend. Yes, it's in Monticello, Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5 each day. It's on 3rd and Walnut, and so we're going to have lots of fun things. There'll be food and, and drinks and art and all sorts of great things. And warmer weather, too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my Thanks gosh. Thank you so us. much for being with us.